Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Chase Elliott 2020 Martinsville win liquid standard raw chrome galaxy in that order. Kind of, sort of. We're going to compare. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take a look at all the different finishes. We're going to see, you know, the, sh the differences between them. Um, these are all going to be on the website. So if you are interested in any of them, check them out over there. Uh, they're going to be uh, posted, maybe not right when this video goes live, but they'll be up there uh, during, at least by the time the next eBay, not eBay, but the next website update video comes out. So... Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and dig into it. We'll start off with the standard. We've already taken a look at this car, but we're just going to look at a couple of the key uh, elements. You can see some of the dirt and stuff here is a big part of it. Uh, let's see the front end there. You can see a little bit of rubber on the right front corner. Very little amount. Um, the right side, semi-dirty, pretty much down the whole right side, and then you get a little mark back there. Obviously, the blue is looking pretty decent. And the white actually looks pretty good as well. I, I think the white does look pretty good on this. So that is our standard finish um, for the Elite. No right side window, some of that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and we'll start with probably the most similar looking to the standard, which is the liquid color. Now the liquid color is going to have the same detail on the white, but the difference is when you get to the blue, it really shines up. I mean, this, this blue really gets shined up nicely. It's going to be back here. It's going to be up here. The numbers are decal, so they stay the standard blue for the three numbers, the roof and the two doors, but the the paint up on the front and on the deck lid in this back area, this is all going to be that really nice shimmering blue. That is what the liquid color tends to offer. Um, so you can see that, again, really good and really easy to see it in the light here, which is a very nice looking liquid color. Um, so this one is going to be one of probably my personal favorites. I always like the liquid color. Uh, I, this paint scheme is unfortunately a little bit bland for the liquid color just because there's only 50% blue and 50% white but it has always looked good on cars where the paint scheme is like 90% one color so so that's our liquid color that one is din number 22 um, I have to check boxes to see how many were made 144 144 of those let's go to one of the most rare cars on this list this is going to be the raw one of only 72 so a lot, a lot less of these were made only about half and this is din number 41 but you can see the biggest difference with the raw is instead of a blue you just get a basic raw metal with a clear coat over it so this raw metal uh, you can see it, it's got no color. It's just this, you know, basic, almost stainless steel looking color. Uh, and it's basically everywhere where the blue was. So you can kind of see, you know, from this angle, especially where the light is on the rear, that really looks like stainless steel. So uh, that's where you have kind of this new color breaking into the car at. And it, I think it just looks, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of raw. I just think it looks weird to have a blue car and it's gray. Like it just, it doesn't match with the car. And I like every other car kind because it at least looks similar to the paint scheme, but this one m losing the blue color on the blue Napa car just seems weird. So again, DIN number is 41 on this, but the raw is the most rare one, but I just think it's probably also the least, you know, realistic-ish looking car. They don't have to look realistic. They're supposed to look good. And that one just, to me, it looks odd. So the next one on the list we're going to go to is the color chrome. Now, uh, I'm going to look quick and see if I can find the color chrome quick. Uh, one of 108. So more liquid colors than color chromes now, which is not surprising. I think that always looked better, but you can see the color chrome here. Very dark is what the blue color ends up being. You can see it in the light there, how the, it does reflect and look good. But overall, it's a very dark looking color, especially when you put it up next to the uh, liquid color. Side by side, you can see much brighter on the blue from the liquid color so it is a more of a mirror finish but it is also a darker mirror finish on the blue for the color chrome once again the numbers are the standard color and then it's just the blue uh on the front and back where you end up with a semi mirror finish so you can see my hand up here but it doesn't reflect quite right you can see it's kind of um it's not a perfect mirror i guess you can see how it's kind of smudgy almost i don't want to say smudgy but that's kind of what it looks like um so 
The chrome is still a solid finish. I do like the liquid better just because of the way that it shimmers and doesn't have the mirror, but the chrome is definitely still a very solid car. Uh, I don't know if I said the DIN, but the DIN is 74. And the last one on our list today is we're gonna take a look at the Galaxy. Now the Galaxy, you have the blue, but you can see all the sparkles in there. The Galaxy in my, is, in my personal opinion, the best on dark cars, black, gray, dark, you know, all the dark colors. The, the blues, it's okay. You know, you look at them side by side. Here they are. You can see the blue is not too far off, but it's just a super sparkly blue. And it's on the back. It's on the nose. You can see it just, it really does sparkle and make the car look nice. This is DIN 62, by the way. Um, so it does do that. Ooh, that's not good. The hinge fell off. Interesting. So I've got some work to do on this. Huh. I have some work to do, boys. Interesting. So I'll have to take a look. But anyway, you can see there the differences on that. Uh, the the Galaxy just is very sparkly. Um, so I'm going to line them up here quick, and I'm going to put them in order, or in my personal order from left to right. Um, now, the standard finish always gets to be number one in my list because I like it when it looks realistic to the car that ran on track. So standard finish just about always gets the number one spot. The only time it doesn't is when the standard finish doesn't look right and then the liquid looks better. Uh, number two on the list, sorry, Color Chrome, it's going to be the liquid color. It's always been liquid color. That is one of my favorites. Um, even when it's a 50-50 scheme, it just makes the, it brings out the color in the car. So I had to put it number two. Number three on the list, I'm going to pick the Color Chrome, even though it is a little bit darker and, you know, maybe doesn't look quite as good, you know, by itself. It does still have the Napa blue. It still looks really, really solid. Still a very good looking race car. So I uh, can't complain too much. Number four, I'm going to choose the Galaxy finish just because it at least is blue. Um, so because it's blue, it gets to go to at least the number four spot. Number five will be the raw edition. And that's, again, the biggest thing about the raw is the fact that it's not blue. You know, you've got a Napa car and it needs to be blue. And that one is not blue. So I chose it in this specific order, standard, liquid, chrome, galaxy, and raw. The only other color that I haven't mentioned is flash coat. Now, the flash coat is not available for the Martinsville win. However, it is for the Phoenix. So as soon as the liquid and chrome show up for Phoenix, we'll be taking a look at those as well. Going to be pretty similar to this, but um, we haven't got a chance to look at those yet because the chrome and liquid have not released. So as soon as those are out, we'll take a look at them. We'll get a good shot at all those different cars so you can see which ones you want. Uh, if you want any of them, uh, I'll we'll have a few of them on the site as well because I'll have multiples and need to move them out because I enjoy a few special finishes here or there, but I don't get too many of them because there's too many available. So uh, as I said, very cool special finishes for this Martinsville win. Chase having the championship. There's got to be a lot of cool special finish options out there. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually still have every win except for the All-Star win in Galaxy currently. So I think... All five of his wins from last year, points-wise, uh, in Galaxy Finish, are still available. So I could be wrong, but uh, definitely have to. I'll have to take a look and see. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this comparison video. I hope you did find it helpful as well to see the difference of them side by side, because obviously he did win three races in this paint scheme. So actually, he won four. Sorry, four races in this paint scheme. So hopefully, it helps you make a decision if you're looking at uh, potentially picking one specific finish up. You can see them all side by side here and pick the one that you think looks the best. But uh, other than that, this has been Race Crazy, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. Do uh, give it a thumbs up, all that fun jazz. You know what to do. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.